Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, unambiguous expression grammar in compiler. In our last class, we discussed about the factors that we have to consider and we discussed about uh, the problems we got with uh, ambiguous grammar in order to evaluate the expressions. Please watch that class and come back here. This is a continuation class. Uh. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, so we have to write uh, unambiguous expression grammar in compiler to in order to evaluate uh, the expressions and we need to maintain the precedence and associativity left associative so how this grammar is going to maintain that uh, here we are using three different non terminals that are given as expression shortcut e term is given as t factor is given as f so the grammar has written like this. This is the grammar E tends to E plus T, E minus T or T. T tends to T star F or T by F or F. F tends to ID or brackets again calling expression E. See this grammar is going to identify plus minus star divided by and brackets. So which one is having the highest precedence? Brackets is having the highest precedence. After that star and divided by is having the same precedence uh, less than brackets. Plus and minus is the having the least precedence uh, among this. Among this plus minus and star divided by bracket plus minus is having the least precedence. See how they are maintaining the precedence here that point you have to understand how they are maintaining the associative here they are, that point you have to understand with examples you will understand it better but here we will give you an intuition uh, if you don't understand leave it with the example you will get clarity e tends to e plus t e minus t see same precedence they made it in the same non-terminal and one more point you have to understand e tends to t means with e we are going to call t the least precedence the next highest precedence see from here we are going to call t means we have to pass this t star f t divided by f same precedence they made it a separate non-terminal production for this with t we are going to call f id means identifier or you can call the expression again so this is how they are maintaining the precedence and they are maintaining the associative also how they are maintaining let's try to understand we'll take an example a plus b minus c if you want to evaluate this expression see we start from e you can take e tends to e minus t so in the e minus t see here if you want to a plus b minus c plus and minus symbols are there is there any possibility to expand t and getting a plus or minus symbol no there is no possibility to expand t and getting plus and minus symbol with t we go to f with f you can get identifier means you can identify only the identifier with the t you cannot go with plus and minus symbols so definitely you want to expand e in order to get plus or minus see this way we are going left it is keeping left e calling e e calling e left they are maintaining the left associative see we will get only this grammar e tends to e minus t e tends to e plus t this e is going to check for identifier the first identifier is a it is going to check for a plus b this is done first after that the output that generated here is taken as a is evaluated next this output minus c that is how they are maintaining the associative left associative because with this we don't get any plus or minus we'll get only star and divided by so how this is how they are maintaining the associative left associative see we will check one more example a plus b star c here you have to maintain the precedence so we start with e. e, e tends to e plus t. So with e, see here, a plus b star c. So if you want to get the multiplication, definitely you have to follow t. Then only you will get the multiplication and division operator. With this, e, they are going to, see this point we already explained when we are explaining the grammar. So first level, 
least precedence then from here we are going to call the next level precedence from here we are going to call the next level precedence that is how they are maintaining the precedence e tends to e plus t now if you take a t expanded t tends to t star f so if you go with e e tends to t e tends to f t tends to f f is giving id the first identifier is a a plus if you want to expand this b star c this is how they are maintaining the precedence we'll check one more examples for a better understanding for understanding the brackets if it is in brackets brackets has to be evaluated first okay see a plus b plus c in brackets if you want to go with brackets we start with e e is going to call t t is going to call f in f we are having brackets brackets with again calling expression we are calling expression again e so e is going to expand so from here you know a plus b plus c left associativity will be maintained because e tends to e plus t there is no chance to expand t we will get only identifier because we the t is having no possibility to take plus or minus so keeps on expanding e e tends to a, uh, id plus id id plus id means first e evaluated here is equal to the first uh, identity uh, identity is a a plus b is done first then it is in the bracket this f is going to take for a bracket expression bracket the same way a plus b plus c this b plus c is in bracket bracket should be given first priority so it has to be evaluated first then the summation has to be done a plus b plus c so e tends to e plus t t is evaluating t tends to f f is going to call e first e is going to get the highest priority so b plus c has to be done the output uh, which generated is going to be added with a this is how they are maintaining the precedence and associative with this uh, unambiguous expression grammar so this is the grammar we are using now Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.